Hey, Vanessa, I'm on study leave, so let's do brekkie. Well, too late. I didn't really mean brekkie. <laughs> and after no brekkie, catch up on some of the sleep you missed last night. I slept? Yeah, but I didn't, with all your kicking and squirming about. Chasing me in your dreams again, will you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Look, let's rain check. I've got a cranky cow need to hand with Calvin. <laughs> mm. All right, then. I'll see you later. Have my coffee? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, what about my coffee? It's non-existent. I thought you were in a rush to move scrap. Yeah, I am. But first, I wanted to ask you if you want to go out for some dinner tonight. On me. Well, I'll be sure to pop my best dick as I'm. <laughs> You're a classy bird, you are. Why the need to wine and dine me? I just think you'd be all right. You're a sweet talker, you. <laughs> Love you. Love you. See you in a bit. It's only been a day and the house is already a tip. It's just toys. Well, send Laura over to clean up before it gets out of hand again. Yeah, a bit tricky, that. I haven't hired her yet. Why not? It's stupid and it's probably nothing, but she kind of said that she'd had a drink problem. I'm sure she doesn't, and I said as much to her, but... But? Come on, Jimmy, spit it out. Well, it's been going around my head all night. And then, well, there was that drink-driving thing. And Kerry's always going on about how wrecked she was at Dan's party. Then there was the April thing. What April thing? Oh, actually, that was completely different. That was nothing to do with work or Laurel's drinking. So this niggle... Probably just nothing. Yeah, I thought so. Well, it uh, wouldn't hurt to find out for sure, though. Got you. No, I got you. I'm a laugher. You clearly got, got you. Got what? Nothing. I don't know. Stand aside. Come on. Hey, that's Leo's new one. What? Why are you playing with it here? I'm not playing anything. I'm just testing it. <sighs> right. I forgot to nab some money this morning for the bus. I'm gonna pick the kids up. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Whatever you need. Are you still okay to collect some later? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, congratulations, by the way. Marlon told me you got a job with Jimmy. Oh, well, not officially, but um, he's going to call me later on today. <laughs> yeah, you're the obvious choice. Well, he seems to think so. Anyway, less chatting, more testing. <laughs> ah! Oh! oh. If you come to pitch for new business, I won't waste your breath. Not while charity's your business partner. I just wanted a reference for Laurel. Worked here for years. Wouldn't have kept her on so long if she wasn't capable. <laughs> Why, are you thinking about taking her on at the haulage? Yeah, to do a few bits and pieces around the house. Or looking after your kid? Oh, she's like an auntie to Angel, so there's no worries there. Hang on. If she was such a good worker, why did you fire her? Drunk on the job. If she'd injured herself or somebody else in that state, I would have been liable. And it's not worth risking this place over. I think twice about leaving my kid with her. Well, oh, Sean will be dead in spare by these superheroes. Yeah. Half of them have had freak accidents like him and they all bounce back, save the world. <sighs> I'll sort of and just bounce them back. Any will. That's what this meeting's about. The consultant's going to tell you all how brilliant he's doing. We don't know that. Well, I do, cos he's a flippin' trooper. <sighs> Can we go? Oh, yeah. Right, give this to our Sean from me. Oh, what is it? Rabbit's foot. Everyone knows they're dead lucky. Oh, is that like the other thing you give him? What, what it? Some piece of jade tat? Well, that didn't work, did it? Well, I could have protected him from worse. Yeah, he could have ended up like that lad that set off a cracker in his clacker. As well. Boom. Look, my son is going to find out today whether or not he's going to fully recover. And you are just plavering on like an idiot. Right, babe. Lay off, will you? Kerry's gutted she can't come, but she's working silly hours to make sure I can. And Sean's going to love all this stuff anyway. I'm sorry. Really. Mm. But can we please go? Mm. All right. Yes. Neville, you were due there an hour ago. No, today. Oh. Hiya. Any uh, news about the 
job. I told you no. <laughs> yeah, that was just in front of my niece on it. I I'm offering it to someone else. If you were gonna, there'd be here by now. Hell's bells. <laughs> no, Neville, Hotton. Oh, I'll do it myself. No. Uh, yes, Mr. Jackson, you've reached home, James Storage. And um, haulage, I mean. And um, Mr. King, he's. Uh, I'm sorry, he's not available. Oh, he's, um. Uh, working out. Oh, he's on the road. Oh, he's on a job. <laughs> Whose job? Um. Oh, oh, your job, of course, Mr. Jackson, his favourite client. <laughs> oh, no trouble at all. I'll let him know. Bye. <sighs> Jackson wants his delivery yesterday, so you best get yourself on the road. I need to um, lock up. <laughs> what you need is someone to man the phones and calm down some pretty peeved clients. Someone who's available right now. All right, fine, you're hired. <laughs> Thank you! <sighs> On a trial basis. Shoot! Uh, home James Holly, how may I help? I feel for your Sean still stuck in hospital. Mind, he was never in danger of dying, was he? So he hasn't had to suffer what I have. No, oh, no, just excruciating pain is all. Um, there's scrap on the track. Right, well, I'll move it later. Hey, come on, let's take this back to yours. No, mate, it's too crowded. I bet it is, what with Robert being there. Why has Chrissy booted him out, then? <sighs> don't know, don't care. Did Diane tell you to keep Stum? Because I am practically his auntie and I only want to help. Then bog off. If you don't shift that gear, I'm gonna phone the council. Vanessa says she's up the dove, man. Why, well, it's yours. Well, it won't be. But me and Vanessa, it was just a one-time thing. That was it. It's not like it's not happened before, has it? Just say it's in your genes. So what, she wants you to step up? No, no, I'm more like, shut up for good. What, can you? When it's born, it's living down the road. I don't know. What, if I tell her that, then she's just gonna blow it? <sighs> Mate, I got no flipping idea what to do. Jimmy hired me. So you've quit working for us, have you? Does Valerie know? Oh, like she'll notice, with Finn's nose stuck halfway up her backside. Oh, you have such a way with words. My wife values your friendship. Then she shouldn't have lumped me with all the rubbish jobs. Oh, why are you here? To try and win me back? I'm here to get Adam and Aaron to move their scrap. Not my business. Not my problem. Oh, hi. Uh, is Sir uh, Jimmy about? Oh, I'm his new. Office manager, can I help? What? Um, uh, excuse me. Laurel, hi. I was meaning to. Have you um... given the job to Tracy over me? She's very experienced. But, but you said you gave me the impression the job was mine. What's changed? I spoke to Jay. And he told you why he sacked me. <gasps> Come on, that was a one off. Jimmy, you know me. You know I'm reliable. I don't know that, though, do I? Not now. But you do. I, I told you about my little blip because I thought you were my friend and I thought you'd understand. If I thought you were going to use it against me, I wouldn't have told you. Please. Jimmy, I need this job. Hey, boss. Got another run? Yeah, just a sec. <laughs> if it were any other time, but I'm barely staying afloat as it is and taking you on... It's just too risky. I'm really sorry, Laurel. Oh, Benice, do you know that job you said Jimmy's got going? Can you put a good word in for us, please? No. You're already juggling this, the factory, and my makeup parties. Yeah, well, I'm not going to have Dan worrying over bills when he should be with Sean. Anyway, it's Laurel's. Really? Oh, that's great. Well, at least I think it is. Until she spooked Jimmy a little bit. So 
Arthur's just got a bit of a problem with drink. What, like a lush? Laura? Oh, that's not what Bernice said. You don't think that holiday she took's got anything to do with it, do you? How? <clears throat> no, it was just really sudden and then she was dead cagey when I asked her about it. But you don't think she's gone away to get clean, do you? Well, it's worked, hasn't it? She's three weeks sober. And the last thing she needs is everyone treating her as the latest scandal to gossip over. So it's true? You said she told Jimmy. Well, I didn't realise it was that bad. But it's not bad. Oh, but you want to eat it get clean, though? It doesn't matter. Like I said, she's sober now. Yeah. Will you stop arguing, please? I've told you enough! Oh. Uh, come in! OK. Daisy, come here. Come she barked more this time, Abby. Um... Douglas Potts. Yeah, no, he lives... He lives up the road. I can only deliver to the address given. OK, well, I can give it to him. If you can just pop it through there, thanks. Sorry. Daisy, out of the way. Guys! What have I told you about your bags on the floor? Do you not listen to me? Hello? Hi. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's a, uh, it's a delivery for Dad. Still not changed his address. No. You OK? No. Jimmy gave Tracy the job. What? Yeah, thinks I'm a liability, so... so much for being honest with a friend. Oh. Maybe it's not a bad thing. Oh, you think Jimmy's right? You think I'm not up to it? No, of course you are. But it doesn't hurt for you to have a, a bit more time. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Listen, I kind of snuck out. Oh. You've got to go back to work. Yeah. It really yeah. sucks that you didn't get that job. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, fine. OK, just call me. Any doubts? You know, if you want a drink? Yes, I'll call. Hey. Jimmy's out of stationery. Why, is that your problem? Well, you didn't tell her. Didn't want to spoil her surprise. Oh, well, meet the new office manager of home, James Hollidge. What's that? Jimmy King's given her a job. I'm also his lifestyle assistant. <laughs> What's that? A domestic sleeve? <laughs> You're all right, friend, you. Were well, you actually thinking of taking it? She starts today. I would dance a jig, but... Uh... Where's your loyalty? Uh, well, it's your own fault for sticking me with all the dodgy jobs in here. And you think scrubbing Jimmy King's loo is a step up? Why do you even care? This'll give you even more time to play with your precious pet finnikins, won't it? So you'll have packed your room up? You're turning us out. Room comes with the job. Oh, stay for your own sake. Jimmy will just take advantage. I bet he's not even paying you much. What is he paying you? I don't even care. I reckon I'd pay him just to get away from you. Go and help Arthur tidy his room, then. But I need to read this to you for school. Oh, no, darling. 
Weedy garden grew a garden. No, sweetie, sweetie. Why don't you go upstairs and practice? Because I'm a little bit busy. I can help you. No, it's fine. But I want to. Will you just get upstairs now? <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> Come here. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Why do you go upstairs and then you can you can meet to me later, yeah? Okay? Sorry. It's okay. I love you. Beautiful. Okay, baby. Go on, baby. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Marlon, are you OK? Yeah, yeah, just busy. Right, Marlon, I'm off. You haven't come in here for a sneaky few. I'm not going home to get dolled up for you to be asleep before the prawn cocktails. Would I? Not if you still want a girlfriend. Yeah, well, reckon I do. Good. Run and us. Listen, if you want to keep things quiet, you shouldn't be blabbing. So you want to keep things quiet? Yeah, nothing's changed. You're right, it's not my kid, it's not my problem. Fine, good. Great, you're here. Angel's upstairs. About that. How much are you paying? For what? Running his office and this place. You? Her? Problem. A few. I can only afford minimum wage. Oh, it's not enough. Not with rent. I can't do it. Oh, well, it obviously wasn't meant to be. Bye now. Uh, I've got a run. An angel needs minding. Well, cancel it. I've got to be at the salon at four o'clock. I can't afford to cancel. Where's Gabby? Well, she's at some after-school greenie vegan club learning how to make fishless sushi, so no, she won't be babysitting. I'll look after her. I thought you quit. Yeah, but I'll look after her now. For 50 quid. Oh, oh the nerve of you. Or I could just go. <sighs> <sighs> no, 50 quid it is. Uh, uh, oh. His voice mad again. Oh, again. That's because you're shamed, Jimmy. You should be. I would be. Because I can do this. I can, I can, I can. I just need a chance. It's because you're weak. No one's a Nicola left for you, because I would. Stuff you. Stuff you, stuff. Don't need your help anyway. Dan's just texted us here, they're nearly here. You're going to have to get a better cake, man. Something more celebration -y. But we don't know if he will be celebrating. Shh, stop it! You're going to bring bad vibes. Oh, it's not like saying fairies aren't real, Kerry. But we can't change if it's good news or bad, OK? No, I know, but a fruitcake? Might as well give up now. It's a good job I've got cover on ice. Well, go on, then. He's going to be all right, eh?
Can't chat, no time. We just want the gossip. Ron and Ricky's are out of sorts. No, it's just that you seemed a bit off before. Tracy got the job over Laurel. Oh, why? She told Jimmy about the drinking. How's she taken it? Well, she feels let down, obviously. I mean, she seemed OK when I left, said she'd call, you know, talk things through. If she has a craving. Maybe you should just drop by and see her, just check how she's doing. Well, you said yourself to give us some space. I know, but this will have rocked her, you know, badly, and, um, well, it could set her back. Yeah, but me showing up again, it looked like I don't trust her, and I do. I do. If there's a problem, she'll call. an hour.